Obadiah. Obadiah chapter, well, chapter, verse 10. Now the book is about Esau, Edom, the Edomites. And what we're going to study tonight will tell you why it's against Edom. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. So Esau is Jacob's brother. The Edomites are of Esau. Esau and the Edomites have been cursing Jacob. Jacob is the children of Israel. Jacob is the children of Abraham Isaac. His, his brethren, the twelve sons. God told Abraham and Isaac told Jacob, if any man will curse thee, they will receive a curse in return. And that's all Esau's done is curse. There is a feud between the two. Now the whole Middle East are brethren. And they all battle each other and they all are against if they have any unity against Israel. Because Esau will marry one of the groups of people into Ishmael. Ishmael, the Arabians, are an enemy of Israel. The son of uh, Abram, not Abraham, of Hagar. He says, the, the violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. You're not going to get good when you mess with Israel. Everybody needs to learn that. And those that say God's all finished with Israel, replacement theology, you're going to face an angry God saved or lost. And thou shalt be cut off Forever. Now, cut off means you, you, you go to hell. There, under the Jewish law, there are sins that can be committed where an Israelite under the law is cut off. And, and there is no remedy. There is no sacrifice. There's no going to the priest. You're done. You're finished. Matter of fact, most cases, most, with the cutting off, was you were to be put to death. In the day, now in the day, the verses we're going to look at, shows up nine times in four verses. And give me the four verses we're going to look at tonight. In the day that Babylon, the Chaldeans, came into Jerusalem, So this book is post excel Jerusalem has already been conquered. In the day thou stoodest on the other side, against Israel, that's what the other side means. They were an enemy to Israel. In the day that strangers carried away captives his forces, the Chaldees of Babylonia. Carried away Judah. And everything, his army, his kings, his princes, the children of the king. And foreigners enter into his gates, Babylonian, Chaldeans, and cast lots upon Jerusalem. All right, who's going to get this? Who's going to get that? Who's going to get this? Who's going to get that? Draw straws, uh, the black ball. My scissors beat rock. I don't know how they did it, but that's how they did it. They didn't vote. Even thou, thou, Esau, Edomite, was as one of them. You were considered by God a Babylonian, a Chaldean, an enemy against Israel. 
But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. So in Israel's downcast and fall, or Judah's fall, Here are two brothers, I mean, they're related, I mean, Jacob and Esau have been dead, but they're, you know, they're brothers. Edomites looked at Israel like, I don't know who you are. Children of Judah, I, I don't, don't acknowledge you at all. You know, they talk about this great, you know, uh, Hatfield McCormick. Why don't, you, why don't you get to the real? Why don't you get to the to the Bible through to God's book? And it's everybody against Israel. <laughs> Half of them are, that's two families. Who cares? And sometimes they don't even know what what happened, what it is, what to be. We know what the Bible says. You know. Oh, this slavery, this slavery, and all that, you know, Juneteenth and all that. Let's get to the real slavery issue. How about Israel in Exodus of the Africans? And that God proposed a law on slave and servant. Had America, the Christian nation, followed the law of God, you wouldn't have the difficulty and problems you have. I'm going to make a statement. I'm going to say it. I don't care what you feel. At the moment, okay, we emancipated the, the slaves. We should have sent the black people back to Africa and say, okay, there you go. Why waste the blood of brothers fighting the Civil War and families getting killed? Brother against brother and literal brother against brother. We should have told them, pack up your bags and go home. And since you got that mark, the skin color, you don't come back. Because when Moses blessed and cursed his children, he said, Canaan shall be a servant of servants. He says, of Shem shall be their servant. Of Japheth shall be their servant. You don't want to be a servant? All right, go back. BLM and all that. Hey, you can't, you wouldn't be able to do that in Africa. But we're not talking about that. I wanted to throw my five cents in for one. And some people are going to hate me because you've been brainwashed. But you want to talk about, you know, a civil war. You want to talk about Hatfield McCormick. You want to talk about the, the, the slavery in America. You want to. Let's get back to the Bible and talk about what the Bible things are. You can tell me all the players on your NFL team or your college team. You can't tell me the name of the 12 disciples and apostles. You probably think, oh, there's 12 apostles. There were more than 12 apostles. You can tell me all the names of that movie. Can you tell me the 12 tribes of Israel that we're talking about right now? How about, you don't even have to give the birth order. Do you know the name of the only daughter of Jacob? How about who gave birth to that daughter? Listen, all the world rests upon Israel. They are the nation of nations of God. Do you know anything about them? Or do you know about your stupid ball games? Your stupid worthless information. That one day in New Jerusalem, if you were to walk the streets of Jerusalem, you're not saved, you're not going to New Jerusalem. You walk the streets of New Jerusalem, you have no crown. Well, why didn't you get a crown? Well, uh, let me tell you who was on my sports team. Well, what sports? Are any of those guys here? No. And who cares? 
You know what Paul said? Uh, I forget. I think it's one of the books. He said, you know, you only, there's only one thing I want to know about Jesus. Paul, we had a great camp. Uh, tell me about Jesus. Okay. Did you tell anybody about Jesus? I don't want to hear it then. Oh, you should know what my child learned. Did your child learn about the actual biblical facts of the birth of Jesus? Or they still believe the pagan lines? He hit a home run. Who cares? I want to know about Jesus. We're talking about history here. And we're also talking about prophecy. We're talking about current events. We got this war. We got this aggravation in the Middle East. The Bible tells you why. And when they'll print the stories in the newspaper, they don't. Uh, 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 uh. It's more than oil. There's a reason why the newspaper, you know, I call them the PLL. I don't know who they are. I don't. They launch missiles in, in Israel and, and children and all that get killed in the newspapers. Zip. And Israel launches a defense missile. And the enemy puts these people in an abandoned building and name it a hospital. And they purposely get killed. And then the newspapers, oh, look what Israel done. Why the lies about Israel? You know, when they fought, I think, I forget, it was Korea or Vietnam. When the enemy found out that, that the Americans were going to attack this area, they would call their people and say, hey, we're going to have a political meeting in this building. Meet here. It's a month. Sound familiar? Maybe, maybe, maybe it's something like, go vote in this building. I don't know. And then we would go in there and we would attack. This building would be destroyed. These people would be killed. Oh, look at the bad Americans. What, who put them in that building? But other than that, who cares? It's not about Israel. Neither shall thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. So when, when Judah fell... The temple is destroyed. The walls are destroyed, as uh, Nehemiah will tell us. Esau, the Edomites are under. Yeah, all right, all right. Yes, yes. Judah's been destroyed. Good for you. Hey, can we have part of the, you know, we're the descendants of, of Isaac. You think we can have that? We'll take the big straw. We'll take the straw from the chicken place. You can have the straw from the hamburger place. You can have the straw. I don't know how they did. In the day. In the day. In the day of the destruction. So in the day, the day that Judah and Jerusalem fell. That's in the day. The brother of Jacob, the Edomites, the family there, hooray! Off with the fireworks. I don't know if they had fireworks, but that's... We talk about a worthless thing, July 4th, the independence. I, I hate to tell you, you know what? I stand side with England. I say God saved the Queen and I pray for the President of the United States. I'm not for this Americanism. If if England never go on the RSV and the Trans Jordan Compact, we would not be what we were today. The Red Coats would have won. You say, what are you talking about? The, the England left the King James Bible for the RSV. Failure number one. We gave Israel their land to Belfort Declaration. And we're in this area now. Here we go. The Jordan, the empire, the royalty of England said, well, we got, I think, 1914, I think it was. We have to give the Jordan people, Esau, 
some land, and we gave the land of Israel part of it. God says, okay, that's it, you're done. When did America go wrong? We went from the King J we went from the Geneva Bible to the King James Bible, then we went to the ASV. The American don't ever get a Bible with American. Okay, and then President Bush during the Gulf War described Israel for, for for oil, and we had the perfect storm and all that. Don't mess with the Jews; they're God's people. Don't celebrate in their laws. I was what? What was it today? Was it today? I forget what it was now. There was something. And it was a Jewish person on, on YouTube. Something. I don't know if it was the People's Court or whatever it was. I said, you know, I'm not going to watch that because I may say something bad about that. Because I'm not going to I'm not going to offend the Jew. I stopped watching Judge Judy. Judge, when I found out Judge Judy is a Jew, I pray for her soul. And I said, you know, I get aggravated with Judge Judy as a judge. I mean, I really, wait a minute, I gotta shut up. I can't say nothing bad about, I can't curse that Jew. I can't say nothing about, I don't even have Jewish jokes no more. I don't want to offend that Jew. I used to support a missionary, I apologize, I used to support, support a missionary to to the, the Jews and with all this conflict, my bank won't let me give them money, they tell me that, you know, it, it could, I, I, I don't know what you call it, but I, it's, I don't want to say, they're not, a, it's a danger to my bank account if I give them money. I, I don't know how to put it. And I feel upset, like, you know. So I want to find, find another missionary. I mean, I said, I've supported missionary Ukraine. I didn't really, you know, with this Ukraine war, it really, it didn't dawn. I support missionaries in Ukraine. In Ukraine, there are Jews. Hallelujah. Don't mess with the Jews. And what does this one chapter book tell us? It tells us about an enemy of the Jews specifically and their brothers. And when the Lord Jesus Christ comes back, Edom will be completely destroyed. And this goes all the way back. <laughs> Stick to your King James Bible. Don't go what the world's doing. Ain't nothing, you know another thing America has gone against? I said I said the RSV with England. We got the end. I'll tell you nothing that, that destroyed America is destroying America. The veggie tales. We're going to make the Bible characters, the godly people, and the disciples are Jewish people, except for Luke and the Canaanite Simon the Canaanite. Judas was a half breed Jew. Did you know that? All right, let's take Peter, James, and John. They, they were Jews. You're going to make them veggies. Warning. You changed the Bible. I guarantee you make children happy. We changed the Bible. I mean, what do you got? Judas is carrot? Carrot? I won't watch these movies with Jesus. Because it's going to warp my head. Because I know it's wrong. Don't. Jesus was Jewish. Neither should thou have spoken proudly. There's that pride. In the day of distress. What, what could have been the pride? We're. It was our blessing. You're getting it, Jacob, because you stole the blessing from our father. No, your father. See, now they changed the history. You see that? And there are preachers again up there. Yeah, you know, Jacob stole it. No, he didn't. 
It was bought. It was sold. Okay, yeah, he sold it for a mess of beans, but he bought it. Esau could have said, well, you know what, Jacob? On you. Let me go see what's in the cupboard. Let me see if I can go find some crackers or something. I don't know what they had. Dumb American. Oh, I need to look in the refrigerator. And where would you plug it in? The camel? He saw the Edomites were happy and rejoicing and we're going to be the ones now. And their main goal would have been, let's go in the land, it's ours. We deserve it. It was ours to begin with. You know why Edom is called Edom? Edom means red. Number one, Esau came out of his mother's womb red. Red headed. Red hair. I almost said fur. Right? He sold his birthright for red pottage. I forget. It's either Esau or Edom. I forget which one now. Supposedly in the language, it means Rome. Interesting. Thou shouldest have not entered into the gate of my people, Israel, in the day of their calamity. So, Israel's being marched out of, of Judah in Jerusalem by the Babylonian Chaldean army. And when the Babylonian Chaldean armies are coming into the city, Edomites are coming into the city. See, you need to read all the... You didn't read about that in Jeremiah and Lamentations. You need to put all the... Did you know that in Exodus, there's a thing where there were evil angels sent by God? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. The water turned to blood. Uh, there was pestilence. There was frogs. There was lice, there was the blackness, there was the death of the firstborn child. There were... I don't remember reading in Exodus there were angels. There was the, the fire that went along the ground, the hail and the locusts. I Evil angels, I didn't see that in the big book of Exodus. No, you had to read Psalms. You know, in the gospel, it's the same story all the way through. It's the same story. No, it's not. you got to read, really study that. You'll find out there was more in each. Each gospel will tell you something even more different. One gospel says there were two maniacs at Gadara. Another gospel will say one. Oh, look at that. A no, he was telling you about one specific man. He didn't tell you about the other. So we read in Obadiah that the Edomites came into the land as Judah's being brought out of the land. As the Babylonians and the Chaldeans are taking over the city. Yea, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity. All right, the Babylonians are killing people in the streets and eat them sitting there. Oh, you deserve it. Yeah, huh? it's going to be all right. There's a woman, and listen, military and all that, you know, because you, you're hearing about it now with this war in, in Russia and the, let's say, Chaldean, in Ukraine. The, the, the Babylonian or Chaldean army are raping the Jewish women. And the Edomites are like, yeah. Think the land's yours, Jacob, don't you? 
and allowing it to happen. A pregnant, we read a place where it says pregnant women, they're ripping their bellies open. And the, and the baby inside the womb is coming out. <laughs> Let's eat them. <laughs> oh, you, you, you. <laughs> All right. That's what Esau is doing. That's what Edom's doing. The, the, the royalty, the kings and the princes are being held off in chains, taken out, heading into the, the Babylon. <laughs> Give me the standing ovation while clapping like the Baptist churches do. Nor lay hands on their substance in the day in the day of their calamity. So the Judas is being taken out, they're being killed, they're being everything by this army. Hmm. That's a nice walking stick. Oh, that's mine now. They're going through the places. Oh, I like it. That's mine. There's, they haven't conquered Judah or Jerusalem, but they are going in and getting spoils. They are robbing the dead. They are robbing the empty homes before the Chaldeans come in, really, because they destroyed the place. All kinds of heirlooms, treasures, gods. Yeah, they had the gods, ask Jeremiah. Listen, that's mine. Wow, look at all this wheat I found. <laughs> My wife can make some good bread with this stuff. Look at all the gold. The only place they did not go is the, is the temple, because that stuff went back to Babylon. Verse 14. Neither should thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those that those of his, Judah, that had escaped. So the ones that do get out, they, they, they're right, oh, I'm free, I'm, all right, there's an eat of my, oh, stop. Oh, come on, come on, come on, I gotta get away from Chaldean. Oh, no, you're not. Come on, we're brothers. No. Oh. I don't, I don't recognize you as my brother. I don't know who you are. Get the stranger. You get the stranger. Neither should have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of his, in the day of the show. What happened? Huh, let's stop right there. Come, come, come on, I gotta get, no, 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 no. Come with me. Tie his hands up. Where we're going. Is it a Babylonian soldier over there? Yeah. Hey, yo. We got one of the, we got one of the Judas here. We got one of the Jews here. How much money do you want for him? Okay. I'll take it. Hey, there goes another get him. Get him. Oh! Where are you going? Oh, no. Come on. I know they got a Chaldean camp over here. What? Can you imagine Judah being captive by Esau and Edom? Can you imagine their please, 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 no. And they bring them into the enemy. Can you imagine what happened to them once they were brought to the Chaldeans? Because God told them, God told them to Jeremiah, don't escape, stay here and go. So those that escaped, the Edom caught, God told them to Jeremiah, don't you do it. So those Judah are rebelling against the word of God. 
And Edom is all too happy to bring them back. And God's like, you, you should just let them out. And now they're the enemy of, of Judah. And they are an enemy of God for being an enemy of Judah. God knew what he said. And God knew that Edom would be all too happy to catch those that rebelled against his word with Jeremiah. Don't you run. Stay. And all those that ran out, that disobeyed the word of God through Jeremiah. We, we went through Jeremiah. Go, get the, go listen to the thing. God told him, if you want to be alive, stay. And there are ones that have been caught. Edom caught them. They bring them back to the Chaldeans or the Babylonian army. I uh, bet you they died for disobeying the word of God. Oh, how will they should say that? Adam and Eve died because they disobeyed the word of God. The prophet that God said, hey, don't go back into Samaria. Don't eat no bread and water in Samaria. You go out. He went to that lion prophet's house. He had bread and water. And the lion slew him. And the lion stayed by his dead body. And he stood by the lion, by the ass. That's not typical for a lion. Obadiah should be taught in the public school system as a lesson to be. Leave the Jews alone. And if God would ever have you, if God would ever speak to your nation, say, hey, I got a job for you. Yes. Yes, yes, God. We don't believe in you, God, but yes. <laughs> the Babylonians didn't believe in God, but they obeyed God. I want you to go do something to Israel. I want you to go do something to the Judah. Uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Isn't it written somewhere in their scriptures that if, if you curse them, you're going to curse them people? Yeah, I, I said that to Abraham. And Isaac said it to Jacob. Oh, Lord, uh, God, please go find somebody else to that. We don't want to mess with you. We've heard all the testimony about you. You know what happened to Babylon for messing with Israel? They got wiped out. They went under the wall. <laughs> You know what happened to Adolf Hitler for cursing the Jews? He dead. You know what happened to Haman? He wanted every Jew dead. He didn't get a chance to kill one Jew, but he hung on the gallows that he built for the Jews. You know what's going to happen to Edomites? They're going to be destroyed. You know what happened to Arafat and, and, and all Sodom and all that that mess with the Jews? They're dead. What happened to England for, for taking the land away from Israel? They're a messed up country. What happened to America going against Israel with United Nations and all that? We're a messed up country. We're so messed up, our preacher thinks we can have a revival while they celebrate their paganism and not have church services. I know a pastor, he's on vacation of his church. And Sunday, he's on vacation, and he didn't go to a church. I've never heard of that before. I go, you know, pastor go, they go on a honeymoon or whatever, or, or they go, you know, vacation. And the what? Cause the pastor deserves a vacation, and they go to the church where 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 they go. Well, at least they should, because after all, they want you to bring people to church. If they don't go to church when they go on vacation, then they're just hypocrites. 
then in course you have 